This is a demonstration of the spreadsheet that is available at KPI Management Solutions. When you download the spreadsheet, um, it comes obviously in Excel, and there's some instructions on the front page, um, and there are various tabs that uh, I'll navigate through this demonstration. So there are KPIs that are set up by different categories. So the first category is we're looking for a specific job. Let's say, for example, um, I work in finance, um, so I, I, I filter on finance, and I'm looking for an accounts payable clock. I'm going to click on accounts payable clock, and you will see the KPA. The KPA means the process uh, where the KPI is coming from. The item in column D, the, the yellow cells, are actually the KPIs. So percentage of active users on the system, number of expenses, journalized to correct account or cost center, a number of supplies, invoice process for payment, etc. So these are the KPIs that we would expect to find for an accounts payable clock. And then the last column is the source. This is just telling us where the data is coming from, typically. Um, it might be different in your organization, but for example, percentage of supply invoice uh, match first time, it's going to come out of your accounts payable module of your accounting system. So this is the, the job um, KPIs, it's the first tab. Um, and you can then switch over, when, when you want to look for another job, just clear the selections and let's say you want to look in HR and in HR you're looking for uh, something like um, an HR manager for instance um, and then you'll see the more senior the job is, you're going to see more KPIs for that person. They are grouped into KPAs like I said. So for instance, if you're looking for something to do um, with HR and payroll data, um, in this case it's just master data that would be applicable to the HR manager. But if I was looking at employee compliance and grievances, there might be a few more KPI, KPIs. So that is the, the jobs um, tab. The next tab is about process. So we've organized the KPIs into uh, various um, processes. For example, hire to retire, plan to deliver. Let's pick on procure to pay. Um, and let's say I'm looking for a KPI. I've got something to do around buying. For instance, I just click on buying. These are the types of KPIs that we would expect to find under the topic of buying. Again, there are some um, source systems. It's telling you where the source systems are. But uh, some KPIs here, percentage, supply, contract, spend, uh, percentage, available rebates. These are the things that we would measure around buying. So we've got, um, again, I will just clear that, that uh, selection. And maybe I want to see something around quote to cash. There's only about five or six of these mega processes. So you can find something about um, after sales support. And there's a handful of KPIs there. So these are really just ideas of KPIs that you can use. There's no definitions or um, any automation here, but uh, it's really just to, to trigger some thoughts in your own mind um, and you want to maybe triangulate that with uh, what you know already uh, in your business. Again, um, I'm going to clear, I'm going to move to the next uh, tab, which is department. Let's go to the HR department this time. Uh, let's find something to do with uh, maybe process in the HR department. Um, and let's just go to something like operations. Operations is a very um, generic category. So these are the kind of operational things and measures you would expect to find in an HR department. There they are again in the yellow. It's always the KPIs are always in the yellow. It's not only KPIs. It can just be metrics, business metrics that aren't necessarily a KPI. Again, the source uh, data is out on the right there. We've also got a tab um, that talks to the top 100 uh, metrics. We, we do a lot of business intelligence implementations and we go to various companies and these are the top 100 things that, that people are measuring in a typical um, organization, uh, commercial, industrial, manufacturing type of organization. Um, again, these are categorized into the different categories. So let's just choose um, something around um, operate IT services, for instance, SLA compliance, number of repeat calls, percentage of IT SLA. So these are very typical things that we see um, in businesses. And then finally, we've got a tab called strategic KPIs. These are the kinds of things that um, an organization will have on their balance scorecard. 
again, they wouldn't have all of these on. There's probably 400 in here. But um, uh, from this list, you would pick stuff that you want to measure at the highest level. So let's say you, you're looking for something to do with the customer. You want to measure um, quality, for instance. These are the types of KPIs that one, when you're building a balance scorecard for the entire company, you might want to then just um, look at these quality KPIs. So overall, this is what you're going to get when you download. We update this list no more than once a month. So if you download it, you're not going to be bugged more than that. Uh, the only reason why uh, we need your email address is just to send you the updated list and to tell you about what's going on. We don't send it out. We don't spam you. We don't believe in that. So yeah, download and enjoy it and give us some feedback um, when, you, when you can. Thanks very much.